I'm Meredith from Graco, and I'm going to show you how to transition your Nautilus 2.0 3-in-1 harness booster into the high back booster and backless booster modes. Before we begin, I'm going to briefly review how to make sure your child is properly secured in the harness booster mode. Check for the proper harness height. The straps should be at or just above the child's shoulders. Buckle the child in and attach the chest clip. Tighten the harness. Move the chest clip to armpit level and do the pinch test. Let's walk through how to transition from harness booster to high back booster mode. First, we're going to remove the harness system. Push down on the harness release lever at the front of the car seat and then pull on the harness straps to loosen them completely. Make sure the chest clip and the crotch buckle are undone. Now we're going to remove the crotch buckle. In order to do this, lay the seat on its side. You'll be able to reach your hand through this hole and grasp the metal retainer clip. Then at an angle, press upward. It's easiest if you make sure to thread the webbing through first and then the rest of the buckle. Then you can turn your seat back over and remove the crotch buckle completely. Now let's continue to remove the harness straps. In the back of the seat, you'll find a metal plate called a splitter plate. Unhook the harness straps from the plate. Raise the headrest all the way and pull the harness straps through the front of the seat. We now need to detach the soft goods in a few places. First, remove the seat pad cover and then undo the elastics on the back and the snaps on the side. Now we're going to release the back support. Press down on the two red levers. You can use your elbow to start pushing the backrest down and then guide it to a flat position. Now you'll be able to release the harness straps from the arms. Thread the splitter plate through the seat back and seat bottom and make sure it is in the storage position. Pull on the harness release adjuster to tighten into place. Your harness straps and buckles are now completely removed. Make sure to store them in a safe place for future use. You can now push the back support up again and you will hear a click when it reconnects with the seat base. Replace the seat cover and reattach the snaps on the side and the elastic on the back. Check the recline to ensure your seat is in the most upright recline position for use. Your seat is now ready for use in high back booster mode. Now let's walk through our checklist for buckling your child in the high back booster mode. Check for proper headrest height. Thread the vehicle's seat belt through the belt guide. Buckle the seat belt and make sure the child's back is flat against the back of the booster seat. Pull up on the shoulder belt to remove slack. Make sure the vehicle seat belt is routed in front of the armrests. The shoulder belt should lie across the child's shoulders and the belt guides should be even with or just above the shoulders.
Next, let's learn how to transition the seat from high back booster mode to backless booster mode. To begin, release the elastic loops from the back of the seat and the snaps on the side of the seat. Pull the seat pad up and release the back support from the base by pressing the two red levers. Again, you can use your elbow to start pushing the back of the seat, then lower it down to a completely flat position. Now we're going to detach the back support. Pinch these two red tabs and slide the back portion away. Make sure to store the back support in a safe place with your harness for future use. Finally, replace the seat pad and attach the elastic loops to the back of the seat and the snaps on either side. Check the recline to ensure your seat is in the most upright recline position for use. Your seat is now ready for use in backless booster mode. Now let's walk through our checklist for buckling your child in the backless booster mode. Have your child sit in the booster seat with their back flat against the back of the vehicle seat. Ears should be below the top of the vehicle seat back or headrest. Buckle the seat belt across the child's lap. It should be lying low across your child's hips. The shoulder belt should lie across the child's shoulders. If it does not, you may need to use a belt positioning clip to get a better fit. 